Right, well, I suppose we might as well start with the only character on this list that we don't hate. Like, yeah, at this point, honestly, I'm thinking that's, like, every time, like, Sosuke sees the XRC enter a room together, like, his stomach just falls out, like, like oh, fuck, what now? You know, I didn't need to know that about Rem. Hmm. Plot fairy, horny for grandpa. It's gonna make a joke, but I'm, I, I, you know, that's making me uncomfortable, so let's just move on. <laughs> Call the video horny for grandpa, Artix. Tell her to leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> anyway, since we're here... We'll, uh, we'll get this from Sadie, but then we, we gotta do the final reading. Who's it gonna be? Well, we got two choices left. We're never getting a reading with Shio, are we? We, we are not getting a reading with Shio. Maybe, yeah, no, I can't say that. Maybe, maybe when we go to the post-post game... We'll have an opportunity to get Shio's. Because, yeah, like, it, it's weird that, like, it gives you basically a chance to get everyone except, like, one person. So much for Sadie being the expert, she literally just said, oh, I was only able to contact her once and then never again. Ah, oh, but see, this time we have... We have the talisman, which gives her a better connection, and now... Now maybe she can find her. That didn't take long at all. Okay, so not the skate park then. That that place is an affront to nature. <laughs> <laughs> God, imagine Sadie is being like, she's in the park, in a place none known as an abomination unto man. <laughs> the light bulb immediately goes off in Ko's head. Sadie's like, 
Thank you very much for your business. Fifty dollars, please. Oh, I see you struggling. You want to do it? I do. However, the call of whatever the fuck uh, a friendship reading with Mr. Goro is supposed to be was too powerful. <laughs> I can see immediately that this is incredibly awkward. I'm also getting visions of a weird demon thing while Mr. Goro is uh, doing a badass pose in front of it. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. You also share an Im a deep and immense bond of not being able to get the fuck over your childhood girlfriend's dying. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get, like, the standard Mr. Goro went back to whatever he was doing stinger at the end of that. Yeah, you're right. We didn't get that. That's actually really disappointing. I mean, I suppose whatever he was doing is still walking around with us, but... Eh, it's just not the same. Rian, when did you get into your, uh... Casual disguise. They did a uh, they did a little quick change back at a uh, back at Yukino's place. The whole gang did actually. Oh, actually, yeah. I realize it's very easy to block out Ko's horrifying <laughs> casual outfit, but so. Did the game do that of its own volition, or did you, like, actually change everyone's outfits on your own? Oh, I did that. Well, I mean, I guess points to the game for actually reflecting outfit choice in, uh, the dialogue portraits like that. For better or worse, basically everything is done in-engine, so... You can do basically whatever. Yeah, like, I've seen, like, uh, screenshots and, like, other people's videos of, like, uh, certain parts of the game, like, how, like, the, the end game and the ending, for example, where, like, yeah, everyone's wearing completely different outfits from what uh, Ardix had on, uh, or had everybody wearing uh, during the LP version, so. Yeah, if you, if you leave them in their default, like, school outfit, it will change their outfit automatically when it's appropriate, but you can you can just put them in whatever outfit you want at any time, and it will reflect that. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the end of Spika's career? I feel like they just had their anniversary concert. <laughs> Yeah, this is the last time you're performing in Moramiya because you don't want to be here for the aftermath of this show. <laughs> and also, oh god, they all suck. I'm really confused about the, uh, the, the headboard of that uh, Stratocaster. Normally I'm used to Stratocaster's, like, tuning pegs all being on the same side, but that just looks like three on each side. 
Again, it's probably the reason why it sounds like ass when he played it. Been waiting for this moment all my life. Just like the anniversary concert that was like a month ago. Was waiting for that all my life too. Again, you have to keep in mind, Ryota does not remember the last three months of the game, so... Yeah, technically he has been waiting for this moment all his life. Give him like 10 minutes, I'm sure he'll remember the last concert. Man, I feel like I've heard this song before. Who put the bassist up front? drums on this song. Yeah,g good to see Mikaria made good on his uh, promise to buy a con or ticket to the concert, stayed for one song and then immediately left. Although, that, that said, like, what does it say about this audience that, of all people, Mikaria was the one who had the good sense to leave when the garage band started playing? better than the time you shoved Ko into the, uh, whatever the fuck the mascot costume is called and just kind of threw him out there. And, yeah, just, like, had him wing, like, several actual professional, uh, advertisement campaigns. So that's a bit of an understatement there, Akira. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even do anything, Mr. Goro. Don't you take credit for this. Didn't he convince Urara to play or something? Uh, I suppose that's true. He did subtly convince her that this would be a good pa a good topic for a paper or something like that. Also, he is the nominal adult supervision for this whole shebang, so uh, yeah, he he gets to claim credit for it all by default. Wow, fucked up that Tella doesn't get anything for this. Well, she's busy watching the gate. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you see her anywhere around here? I'm just saying, this is technically her club. Yeah, and, <laughs> and as as our advisor, we, we've just told her to go make sure no one fucks up with that gate. She's, she's I guess, in exile. 
you know, knowing what is behind that gate, I don't think we have anything to worry about anybody fucking with that gate. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure out of, like, the entire city of Moramiya, like, the only people who can see it are in this scene right here and Toa, so, you know? I mean, June presumably could, but June's out there at the festival, so he's, like, 50 feet away. Yeah, he... Yeah, he's, he's got to keep an eye on Ryota to make sure he doesn't fuck anything up. Also, the, these group scenes are really making me appreciate the fact that, like, uh, Mr. Goro doesn't have a casual outfit, so he's just continuing to wear his suit all the time. I mean, the alternative for Mr. Goro would be his battle armor. So I, I guess in that sense, he is in his casual outfit. So what you're saying is you took the coward's way out and did not just put Mr. Goro in his battle armor throughout this entire uh, epilogue. You know, in all honesty, it never even occurred to me. <laughs> Had I thought of it, I definitely would have. That said, like, Mr. Goro seems like the kind of person who, like, his casual attire would just be, like, a t-shirt that says, like, sun's out, gun's out, or something. A t-shirt or a tank top? Yes. Like, you can't tell me that Mr. Goro doesn't have a sun's out, gun's out, like, wife beater. Oh, hell yes, he does. And, like, a fisherman's cap, like Gilligan or something, just to complete the image. Oh god, he absolutely has a woman want me fish fear me hat. Tell some dirty jokes, make this whole thing worth our time. God, suddenly I'm just thinking, like, it'd be just absolutely hilarious if, like, the only reason that the XRC could see Rem in the picture is because they're all soul, we like, soul wielders. Same same thing with the, the photographer dude, like, not a soul wielder, but just, like, he was the only person who could see her in the picture, so just to everyone that he showed the picture to, it looks like he just took a random picture of a wall. <laughs> That is surprisingly plausible for this game. <laughs> don't you dare, Rem. We don't need any, any sequel hooks. Well, that was pointless.
And now we will never see Rem again. Thank God. Goodbye forever.